Hey guys, before we dive into the technical stuff of this course, I want to talk about what the VOPs in this course's roadmap look like. First, we will look at what kind of tools a DevOps engineer should be comfortable working with and what are fundamentals. This roadmap will help you better understand the whole course's idea and its topics. We'll also talk about the non-technical side of things, such as what agile methodology is and the difference between traditional system administration and the modern DevOps methods. So it will be interesting. Let's dive into it. First thing first, Linux. Linux is a widely used operating system in production environments. A production environment is where things like websites, online stores, or critical business applications are hosted. They must be available around the clock so people can access them whenever required. It's like a ship's engine room where everything needs to run smoothly to keep the ship moving forward. Many software applications and services are developed and run on Linux systems. Hence, a strong understanding of Linux is essential for DevOps engineers who want to deploy, manage, and troubleshoot software in a production environment. Linux provides a stable, scalable, and flexible platform for running software. In addition, it offers a range of tools and technologies that are well suited to modern software development and deployment demands. By being comfortable with Linux, DevOps engineers can work more efficiently, minimize downtime, and ensure that software is delivered to customers with high quality and reliability. There are different distributions of Linux there. The most known are Red Hat, CentOS, Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, and Amazon Linux. In this course, we will be working with Amazon's distribution. Scripting. DevOps engineers should be comfortable with at least one programming language, such as a Bash or Python, because this skill allows them to automate, manage, and troubleshoot the underlying infrastructure of their support applications. Bash is a powerful and flexible scripting language that allows DevOps engineers to automate complex tasks, manage systems, and perform system administration tasks more efficiently. Likewise, Bash is a tool to automate everyday and repetitive tasks, reducing the risk of human error and increasing efficiency. By being comfortable with Bash, DevOps engineers can more effectively manage the underlying infrastructure and ensure that applications are deployed and running smoothly. We'll have a topic called Introduction to Shell Scripting later in this course, where we'll go through the fundamentals of Bash. Networking. Networking skills allow DevOps engineers to understand how a system different components communicate, how to secure the communication, and how to troubleshoot network-related issues that might arise. Modern software applications and infrastructure are increasingly complex and distributed across multiple systems and environments. As a result, the ability to design, deploy, and manage reliable and scalable network architectures is critical for ensuring the availability and performance of applications. Hardware basics. DevOps professionals should understand hardware as it can impact systems performance, scalability, and security. In addition, knowing the hardware essentials can help DevOps engineers make informed decisions about the types of hardware to use for a particular application or service and how to optimize their use. For example, DevOps engineers may need to understand how the amount of memory and processor cores affects the performance of a system or how network connectivity and storage options impact the overall availability of the application. Understanding hardware can also help DevOps engineers troubleshoot problems more effectively as they will better understand how different hardware components can impact the system as a whole. It may seem overwhelming at first, but let me assure you, the journey is well worth it. Cloud computing. Cloud computing is often called cloud, but in reality, it's not physical cloud at all. 
Instead, it's an abstraction of traditional data centers that enables remote access to computing resources and services over the internet. Cloud computing delivers computing services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet, or simply over the cloud. Cloud computing allows organizations to consume computing resources as a service, rather than building and maintaining their own on-premise data centers. This abstraction allows organizations to focus on their core competencies and outsource the management of their computing infrastructure to cloud service providers. As a result, organizations can benefit from reduced capital and operational expenses, increased scalability and agility, and improve time to market for their products and services. This course will dive deep into one of the most used cloud providers, Amazon Web Services, or simply AWS. Source Code Management, or simply SCM. In the world of technology, software, websites, and applications are essentially made up of code, a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do. This code must be carefully managed and maintained to ensure that everything runs smoothly and functions as intended. SCM stands for Source Code Management. It is a software engineering discipline that tracks and manages changes to the source code of a software project. The purpose of SCM is to provide a centralized repository for the source code, collaboration, and coordination between team members and to allow for managing different versions of the code over time. SCM is crucial for DevOps because it provides a mechanism for version control and collaboration in software development. It helps ensure that changes to the source code can be tracked, managed, and that previous versions can be restored if necessary. Additionally, using SCM helps promote a culture of collaboration in communication among the development team, essential for efficient and effective software development. We have Git as an SCM in this course. Infrastructure as a code or simply IAC. Infrastructure refers to the underlying hardware, software, and networks that support the applications and services we use. Infrastructure can include things like servers, storage systems, routers, and switches. In DevOps, a practice has emerged that allows infrastructure to be managed, versioned, and automated through code rather than relying on manual processes. This practice is called infrastructure as a code and involves writing scripts and configuration files that can be used to create, configure, and manage infrastructure resources in a consistent and repeatable way. By using IEC, the BOPS teams can automate the process of provisioning and configuring infrastructure, reducing the risk of errors and inconsistencies that can arise when tasks are performed manually. This allows teams to work more efficiently and effectively while also improving the reliability and scalability of their infrastructure. It is a practice in DevOps that allows infrastructure to be managed, versioned, and automated through code rather than manual processes. The approach enables teams to treat their infrastructure as a software product and make changes to it in a repeatable and consistent manner, reducing the risk of errors and improving efficiency. Standard tools used for IC including HashiCorp Terraform and AWS CloudFormation. We will be talking and learning Terraform in this course. CI-CD. CI-CD stands for Continuous Integration, Continuous Deployment, which automates software application building, testing, and deployment. Before the development of CI-CD, engineers manually deployed or simply installed software applications, which involved a time-consuming and error-prone process. Typically, Engineers would write code on their local machines, then manually upload it to a version control system. Next, 
they would manually build the application on a separate build server, which involved compiling the code and creating a deployable or installable package. After that, the engineers manually deployed the application to the production environment, which involved copying files to the production server and configuring the environment. This process was often complex, error-prone, and time-consuming, and it could lead to several issues, such as configuration drift, inconsistencies between environments, and manual errors. To address these issues, CICD was developed to automate software application building, testing, and deployment. With CICD, engineers can write code locally and push it to a version control system, which triggers an automated build and test processes. The resulting package is then automatically deployed to the production environment, reducing the risk of manual errors and speeding up the deployment process. The most commonly CICD tools are Jenkins, GitHub Actions, Circle CI, and Travis CI. In this course, we will be learning GitHub Actions. Configuration Management In DevOps, configuration management refers to consistently configuring software systems, applications, and supporting infrastructure. Configuration management tools allow teams to automate managing and maintaining their system's configuration, including the software and hardware components. These tools help to ensure a system's configuration remains consistent and predictable, even as changes are made over time. Examples of configuration management tools include Ansible, Puppet, Chef, and SolStack. We will be getting familiar with Ansible in this course. Containerization. Containerization is the way of packing software programs and everything they need to work with into a single bundle that can run on different type of computers. This helps software developers work faster and ensure their programs work the same way on different platforms. We will dive into containerization essentials in Docker and Kubernetes courses. And finally, monitoring and logging. In the field of DevOps, practitioners must be familiar with various tools and technologies related to monitoring and logging. These areas are critical for ensuring the reliability, performance, and availability of applications and infrastructure. Monitoring is a process of collecting and analyzing data about the system's or application's performance and health to detect issues and troubleshoot problems. Logging is a process of capturing and storing detailed information about system or application events, such as errors, warnings, and transactions, to provide a historical record of activity for analysis and auditing purposes. Popular tools include Datadog, Zabbix, Sensor, and Prometheus for monitoring. For logging, popular tools include Elasticstack, Sumo Logic, Datadog, Greylog, and FluentD. These tools allow teams to centralize and manage log data and to analyze and visualize the data to identify and resolve issues quickly. By being familiar with this and other relevant tools, DevOps practitioners can better support and manage their infrastructure and applications in a highly available, scalable, and reliable manner.